this video we're going to take a look at an individual integral. It's going to involve some u substitution and would probably be typically found in a Calc 1 class. All right, so we've got the integral of x to the fifth over 1 plus x to the third dx. All right, knowing that um, this is going to be a u substitution here, we're going to look at that denominator and let our u be equal to that denominator. So I'm going to let u equal 1 plus x to the third. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. du is equal to a 3x squared dx. All right, I'm going to go ahead and substitute all the way down for the dx, so it'll make it easier when I do my substitutions. So I'll have a du over a 3x squared is equal to my dx. Okay, you're going to come back up to that original integral, and then you're going to start making substitutions. All right, I'm going to leave that x to the fifth right there. The 1 plus x to the third is going to be replaced with u, and then I'm going to replace that dx with what it equals here, du over 3x squared. All right, now clearly we can see a 1 third is going to need to be pulled out. All right, at this point I've got an x squared and an x to the fifth in the top, so I can cross out x squared here. That's going to leave me with an x to the third there in the top. So let's go ahead and pull the 1 third out and see what that looks like now. If I pull that 1 third out, I'll have the integral of an x to the third over u du. All right, now at that point, it's still, uh, we're not done yet. We're, we can't do anything here because we've got a mixture of x's and u's in here. Whenever that happens, all your x's don't fall out, then you've got to figure out how to get rid of some of them. If you come back over here and take a look at what you originally let u equal, I can solve that equation for x to the third and give myself another substitution of something that I can replace then. All right, so if I take this equation, and I solve for x to the third, I'll have a u minus 1 is equal to x to the third. So now I'm going to be able to do another substitution right there. So I'm going to have a 1 third, the integral of a u minus 1, making that substitution all over u, du. Now at this point, a lot of people will take different approaches here. You can divide this into two separate fractions if you can easily see that, but it is a rational function and it's a relatively simple rational function, u minus one over u. So I could um, go ahead and do some long division there since it's a relatively simple um, polynomial on the top, polynomial on the bottom there, and I will come up with an equivalent expression here. So I'm going to put u minus 1 on the inside of a long division box. I'm going to put u on the outside, and I'm just going to divide. All right, u goes into u one time. All right, 1 times u is u. All right, u minus u, that's going to fall out. Negative 1 minus 0 there is going to give me a negative 1, so I'm going to have a remainder there. So if I go counterclockwise around that long division, if we remember how to divide you know, polynomial curves, this right here I can write as 1 minus 1 over a u. So that tells me that this expression is equal to 1 minus 1 over u. Okay, so now I can rewrite that. I'll have a 1 third, the integral, 1 minus 1 over u du. All right, and a lot of times people will put a set of parentheses in here because I really am taking the integral of everything right there. All right, um, at this point, probably you could integrate them individually. I think I'm going to go ahead and separate it and write it as two separate, separate integrals. I'm going to have a one-third here. I'm going to go square brackets, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to integrate 1 du minus the integral of the one over u du. The only reason I did that is just so we can look at those two a little more individually. All right, that one third is going to stay out in front. All right, integrating one there with respect to u is just going to give me a nice little u. Hopefully at this point you have, if you're doing this type of integral problem, hopefully you have this memorized. If you integrate 1 over u du, you're going to have a natural log absolute value of u. And then I'll have a plus c there because I've finished integrating. At this point, I'm going to come back up here to where I originally defined my u and just make that substitution. Okay, so I'm going to have a 1 third times the quantity 1 plus x to the third minus 
natural logs, absolute value, 1 plus x to the third, and then a plus c. If you wanted, you could go ahead and distribute that one third. All right, you wouldn't have to. This is an equivalent answer, so you could stop right there. So pretty much a basic, straightforward integral. Um, couple of different substitutions there you've got to do to get everything to work out, and then deciding how you're going to break that up so that you can actually um, integrate that at that point. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit too. Thanks.